dear testers if like this intelligent test you too are thinking about continuous integration test driven development and want to know a tester's point of view what is the role of tester in ci and is ci good or bad then you must watch this presentation of mine welcome to my channel q analysis and please feel free to subscribe like and share my channel with other testers so let's go what is ci ci is continuous integration and let's talk about a tester's point of view regarding continuous integration so the part of continuous integration we have code which is developed by developers and as soon as it is committed the code it is tested automatically using automation testing which is part of uh, ci continuous integration framework so for every code which is committed there is automation test being run and then a build is created the build is ready and it is uh, forwarded to the tester tester they test it and once they break it it is sent back to the developer to fix and this process keeps on repeating in a continuous fashion and that's why it is known as continuous integration so let's see how does continuous integration fit into model of uh, continuous delivery with continuous testing you can see continuous testing is the main chain block between continuous development and continuous delivery as a part of continuous testing we do different kind of testings which are unit testing which is done at the developer end integration testing which can be done by the devops automation regression testing Uh, which is done by developer and testers both you have a smoke testing on the build exploratory testing or ad hoc testing if you want to know more about exploratory testing please refer my other video and uh, functional testing for the functionalities non functional testing or performance testing load testing stress testing risk test uh, risk based testing for the uh, for figuring out the risk related to testing and user testing all of this testing are very much common in agile as well as the traditional approach of uh, delivery models so let's figure out what is the role of a tester in continuous integration or we can say the same thing in a different way what is a role of tester in test driven development a test driven development or ci based development is driven by developers but each and every work or each every, every task is driven by test cases results whether the test cases pass or fail and they keep on developing and testing till the time all test cases they pass this is the main rule or this is the main principle for ci and test driven development a developer he develops and checks in the code as soon as the code is checked in jenkins checks out the changes jenkins then call asset build script the script in turn calls project automator script and jenkin call a de deployer to deploy the build automation script is executed then to check whether the build is working fine and all test cases are green if in case test cases are failing the build fails if the test case pass then the build uh, is ready for qa to test QA then they perform the test execution and uh, they check out the functional functional test cases and different kind of uh, other functionality testing depending on that uh, results they provide test report and all those functionality which are broken all those test cases which fail they are reported back to the developers and developer they follow the whole process again so you can see it is a continuous process in which development and testing they go hand in hand let's see what is the role of tester in this ci model developer and tester they can discuss the impact and now tester will get to know that how much to test and what to test tester can help in preparing the test environment and they know uh, what kind of environment is to be needed for testing they prepare the test data and simulated test environment they can help in test automation 
developers and testers they are equally important and they can do this test automation thing and once it is done uh, they can help in uh, test execution functional test cases or manual test cases and then test reporting reporting the bugs so that uh, developers can fix it and whole of this process is repeated in an iterative manner again and again so as to ensure that the final product or the shippable product is of good quality and working fine and we don't have any issues with respect to the quality of the shippable product. So now when we know what is continuous integration and what is test driven development, what is role of a developer, what is role of a tester in CI and TDD that is test driven development, most of you like many software professionals would be very much interested that if continuous integration is good or bad for testers. Now this question is very important from a clear point of view and I'll try to answer this depending upon my knowledge and skills. CI is very tester friendly. It allows to make changes even in the later phases. So at any point of time we can go ahead and make changes and test it. The scope for a variety of testing techniques so you can see I already have listed there are so many testing techniques which can be used over here. There is zero wait time. Testing can be performed in parallel to the development so you don't have to wait. It improves the overall quality with the feedback from Jenkins, QA and users. And last but not the least, it ensures participation of testers and customers throughout the development phase and their feedback is incorporated back into the quality cycle or in the development cycle and hence we receive a very high quality product. So I would recommend CI for all the testers and developers. It is a very nice technique and we should surely go ahead and do it, practice it. Please let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section for this presentation and feel free to let me know what else you want to hear about this continuous integration and test driven approach. Thanks for watching my video and if you like it, feel free to like, subscribe and share my video. Thank you friends. Thanks a lot.